So it's a it's about four four forty five p.m. We're going to have a live show here in about fifteen minutes. I'm going to keep this rolling. Just going to do a little sound checky here, and uh, and uh, if you're just stumbling upon us, oh good, Archlandia just said hi, Michael, and uh, hi right back, hi Ashley, and uh, so. In about 15 minutes, the Arts Landia Happy Hour is going to begin with yours truly. I'm Michael Allen Harrison, and I'm looking forward to uh, playing some music for you today. And let's see what else. Um, the mix sounds perfect. Oh, great. Um, how about the piano? How about if I really step on it, uh, let me know if it, uh, um, if we got any kind of distortion if, and uh, if it's uh, kind of clipping the meter. was that? Did that, uh, I think there's like a few second delay here. Okay. Piano sounds perfect as well. Clear as day. Okay. All right. So, uh, I guess we're ready for the show. I, I'm going to go, uh, uh, get some water and, uh, and, Go to the bathroom, probably, and uh, make sure my bladder is emptied. I can't wait. This is going to be really nice. Uh, it's been a beautiful day. I went for a beautiful walk uh, this morning, and uh, it's just gorgeous out there. And uh, everybody out uh, taking walks was exercising the, uh, the distancing was definitely more than six feet. We were all like 12 feet away from each other. And, uh, but everybody seemed very calm and very happy. And, uh, and I'm very calm and happy as well. So we'll see you in a little bit.
Okay, one other thing I wanted to check is that I've, I, I've got the, I've got my iPhone right there because it has a really good camera, and uh, but it's a little far away for me to see all the comments, so I'm going to have to lean in, but I've got my, my uh, iPad here that I can see the light. Well, but, oh, there it is, okay, but it's not showing uh, comments. It's frozen at the moment. Oh, boy. Well, maybe it'll, oh, boy. okay, no, it's going now. And I put back a signal in here. Well, obviously that's going to go in and out. A signal in here. Well, obviously that's going to go. Okay, but I'm going to turn the volume down so that doesn't bleed. But I just want to be able to see the comments, which I can. Okay, Jackie O says the setup looks great. Okay. Janelle Hackinson's McCollum sounds good. Hi, everybody. Okay. All right, we're looking good. We're about five minutes away, and seems like it's like a two-second delay. Oh, that's funny. Okay. All right. Ah, oh, well, while we're waiting for the five o'clock hour, we got about five minutes here or so. I'll, I'll just maybe I'll chat with you all just for a little bit, and... Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, this is, uh, I think, maybe my third live broadcast. I've done them on my own uh, Facebook. And, um, and then also what I've been doing uh, for the last 21 days. Today is day 21. Uh, I call it anti-anxiety COVID-19 music. So I have the anti-anxiety COVID music YouTube channel, and I produce a new video every day. Some of them are, I'm producing video, uh, videos with footage uh, that I'm licensing from all sorts of different sites, or I'm uh, recording some live videos here in my studio, and then I post them every day, and I send them out on my newsletter. And, uh, and if you want to sign up to my newsletter, it's really easy. Just go to uh, michaelallenharrison.com and you just put in your email. And then also you go right to my YouTube channel, which is just Michael Allen Harrison. And, uh, and you could subscribe to the YouTube channel and then you'll always get a notice of, of uh, the newest video. So I'm putting out a video every day um, until the coast is clear. So when uh, Governor Brown uh, made the order to... For, to Go into this uh, shelter status. That was day one. So uh, today is day 21, and I can't believe it's gone that fast. Um, I think that I myself got the virus, and I'm at the tail end of it. I don't know if I got it for sure because I haven't been tested, and uh, and I was told that they I was not a candidate to be tested. <laughs> so. Um, so I just got a little bit left in my chest and a little bit of coughing, and, uh, but I feel great and uh, went for a nice walk today and, uh, um, and just really happy, happy to be here with you guys today and uh, three minutes and counting. Uh, let's see, what else can I tell you before we get started here? Um, Let's see. Well, I'm going to talk about this later, but uh, this happy, the Artslandia happy hour is, is on every day at 5 o'clock. And so make sure to tune in, tune in every day at 5. And uh, tomorrow night is the A-W-O-L or A-Wall Dance Collective. And the company member, Liz Jones, is going to perform trapeze acts and aerials and aerial silks. I've seen that before and it is incredible. I definitely will be watching tomorrow night. And uh, so I'll mention that again later. 
and uh, and I think this is being broadcast on the Artlandia site right now, and it's also uh, uh, synced to my uh, my Facebook page, my regular Facebook page, and my fan page, and um, and let's see here. Uh, Hi everybody, they say join us at five. Maybe I should wait till five. Okay, oh man, broadcast interrupted. It's not doing anything here on my, okay. Thanks for your music already. My wife is watching. Love your scarf, thank you very much. You know, I don't usually wear a scarf, but because of my, my throat, whatever, I'm keeping it warm. My mom is watching. Okay. That's awesome. Love it. Let's see who else. Ashley Coates, what does she say? I know that delay is so crazy. Okay. Um, all right. Well, it's just about 5 o'clock. Okay, Ashley just poured her glass of wine, so... I think that's an indication that we are ready to get started. So we might as well get started here. Uh, I'm going to do a few dedications uh, today because I've got some family watching. And, uh, and then also what I thought I'd do for the first half hour is I'll do a variety of songs, some that I've written and, and maybe, uh, maybe a little Gershwin or something. And then what I thought I'd do for the last half hour is something that I do uh, or, or was doing every Wednesday night uh, in Canby at the uh, Canby Pioneer uh, Chapel. It's an old historical chapel built in 1885 or something like that. And uh, it's very small, only holds about 120 people. But I do, I do what's called a midweek chill. And uh, I play for 90 minutes straight, but I don't stop in between songs. It's just a long hour and a half meditation um, where you can come and meditate or pray or just relax. Um, the whole idea is just to uh, um, uh, go inward with yourself and, uh, and inward with the music. And, uh, and everybody who comes, we kind of go on a, uh, on a beautiful uh, meditation journey with the music. And I do that every Wednesday night. So when this COVID thing is over, I'll, I'll be back there doing it again. So I thought the last half hour I'd do something like that and kind of give you a late afternoon uh, uh, relaxation. And, uh, and if you end up falling asleep and taking a nap, then that's, that's just fine. If, if that's what happens, that's great. Um, and, uh, but, it, but in the meantime, why don't we... Uh, I'm going to start with a... Uh, uh, this is a piece of music that I wrote um, when my first daughter graduated from eighth grade. And uh, this song, my first daughter, her name is Talia, and uh, I wrote a song for her when she was born called Talia Zolabai. But in eighth grade, they had a big deal, a uh, big graduation. They made a big deal out of it. So I, I wrote a new song for her. And uh, this is called Tomorrow's.
Okay. All right. Well, if you're just tuning in, I'm Michael Allen Harrison, and I'm here uh, for the Artslandia Happy Hour. So I'm I'm in the land of Artslandia, or shall we call it Artslandia Land? And so welcome everyone. So glad that you're here with me this uh, late afternoon, early evening. Uh, the song I just played is uh, was called Tomorrows. I wrote that um, for my first daughter, and uh, who is. Uh, 39 now, almost 40. Can you believe that? And uh, and so my second daughter is 10, about to turn 11, and <coughs> excuse me, um, she's about to turn 11. And of course, when she was born, I, I wrote her a lullaby as well. And uh, and so my inspiration for the melody for her piece was uh, from her name. Um, Esther Joanna and so yeah Esther Joanna so that was the the motive that I heard in my head and so um, from that little one two three da -da -da, so it's just it's really only three notes there and uh, so from those three notes um, came this song well you know Beethoven only needed two notes for this <laughs> And, uh, and that's just stuck in everybody's uh, mind forever. It's interesting how just a couple of notes uh, can be uh, eternally inspirational. Like Beethoven was so uh, genius about that. Da, 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 da. And then the other motive that everybody knows is just a little half step. Just have to go that far, we all know it's for Elise. You know, it's just so uh, amazing. Or strong universal uh, melody. And what a great gift for all humanity to be able to hear that, those tones, and to understand that from the moment that we are born. From the moment we are born, we already know the language of music. We already you know, that sound. We know the language of music. We hear it and we hear it together. We may not understand it academically, but we know the language no matter where you are on this planet. We know that language. So, Esther Joanna.
Thank you, everybody. And uh, if you're just tuning in, again, I'm uh, Michael Allen Harrison, and I'm here for the Artslandia Happy Hour. I'm so glad you're here to join me. That piece I just finished, uh, 5.30 p.m. Um, uh, maybe it was a little bit later, but uh, I think almost everybody here in Portland uh, got the notice that um, one of the greatest friends of our community, uh, but uh, but many times, uh, uh, every time we, we met, uh, I had a great conversations and a great admiration for her. And she's also been very supportive, actually, of some of the things I've done. I have uh, uh, so much uh, admiration for uh, their family, uh, for Harold, and God rest his soul, and Arlene, God rest her soul as well. Uh, and their son, and I, I've, I've met Jordan several times and, and uh, have been able to get to know Jordan a little bit as well. And uh, what an incredible family and what uh, incredible things that they've done for this city, um, uh, for the arts. And, uh, and, um, and so I, I wanted to uh, play uh, a piece and dedicate it to, um, uh, to Arlene. Uh, this is a piece of music that um, uh, I wrote uh, that's a part of uh, my musical Haggadah, which uh, if you're not familiar with what a Haggadah is, the Haggadah is a, is a prayer book that's used um, by Jewish families uh, for uh, Passover, which is coming up soon. I created a, <coughs> excuse me, a musical Haggadah with uh, my dear friend Rabbi Alan Berg. And our recording also includes uh, uh, Rabbi Emmanuel Rose, who also passed away recently, who uh, was my rabbi. Um, and uh, um, it was so influential uh, on me and his platform of social justice through his whole life was just incredible. And uh, so uh, this, uh, this goes out to... Uh, um, well, anyways, in, in the Haggadah, there's a section where there's a big remembrance for those who have, uh, who have gone and who aren't uh, on the planet with us anymore. And uh, it comes with a, a prayer called, We Remember Them. And uh, this is the melody. And uh, so this is dedicated to Arlene and her family. And, uh, and of course, uh, uh, Rabbi Rose as well and his family. And, uh, and blessings to everyone who's... Uh, who uh, are fe having feelings of loss uh, right now. And, uh, and this is a great piece to take a moment uh, of remembrance to those that we love and, uh, and bring them into our hearts in this moment. So here's remembrance.
Okay. Yes, uh, it was called Remembrance. I'm looking at the comments here, and somebody asked if there is a recording available for that. Yes, there is. Um, it's on a uh, well, it's on a couple records of mine. Uh, the first recording is uh, is on an album of mine called Seasons of Peace, uh, which we recorded back in 1997, and that version is um, with the uh, uh, Metropolitan Youth Symphony. And uh, that's a great version. That's on Seasons of Peace, and you can find all that all of that stuff on Pandora and Spotify and iTunes. Uh, you can ask uh, Alexa, "Hey Alexa, play Remembrance" by Michael Allen Harrison, and it'll come pop right up. Also, the solo uh, violin on that is done by um, um, Aaron Meyer, and uh, he does a beautiful job. And uh, and then also there's a version of of me playing it solo. And I think that's on my YouTube channel. And, uh, and there's another version of just me and Aaron playing it. And so I think if you just Google Michael Allen Harrison Remembrance, it'll, it'll just uh, pop right up. And it's also included in the musical Haggadah across, which, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> uh, which is called Crossing Over. And that's available on YouTube right now. And we've just made it available because Passover is coming up. And I know a lot of families are going to be celebrating Passover at home. And uh, the narration is done by Rabbi Rose. And uh, of course, all the music uh, is written by me and uh, lyrics and, and uh, story by uh, Alan Berg. And, uh, and then also there's a children's choir on it and uh, all sorts of guest uh, singers. Uh, Julianne Johnson sings on it as well. And uh, it's, uh, we're really proud of that piece, so check out Crossing Over, You're So Inclined. I see that my mom is watching, so why don't I do a piece for my mom? I think I, I wrote this for her, for her 50th birthday. He was either, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was her 50th birthday, and we, uh, she was in Israel. And uh, we all went there to celebrate her birthday. Emma Shali, which means mother of mine.
Thank you, Teresa Harris. I, your comment says, very blessed mom. Yes, she is. I'm a very blessed son. We're a very blessed family. And um, uh, to say, I'm going to be 62 this year, which means my mom's going to be 84. And uh, my mom is so healthy and so beautiful. I think she's going to be here till she's 104. You never know. She might even outlive me. Who knows? Uh, uh, so I had a request for some Gershwin, and so um, I think my stepmom might be out there listening. I think Dodie is out there. She asked if I would, I would uh, play Summertime by Gershwin. So this arrangement of Summertime uh, that I put together is, uh, what I did is I imagined that I was Gershwin himself, because what he used to do after shows uh, in New York is they, he would invite all his friends and colleagues and cast members and whatnot, and they'd go hang out in his flat, and he would smoke a cigar and drink scotch, and then he would play the piano all night long, and we'd do sing-alongs and whatnot, and he would just improvise and do all sorts of crazy arrangements of, of his famous songs. And so when I put this uh, arrangement together, I imagined being Gershwin, you know, two o'clock in the morning with a cigar and a little bit of scotch, and and just uh, uh, playing around with uh, one of his all-time great uh, melodies. This is from his opera, Porgy and Bess, so this is Summertime. Okay, so again, uh, if you're just tuning in, hi, I'm Michael Allen Harrison, and uh, you are watching and listening to uh, the Artslandia Happy Hour, which happens every night at 5 o'clock p.m., and uh, I'll, I'll say this now and, and also one more time at the end, but tomorrow night is the 
A-W-O-L, uh, I think they're called the AWOL, AWOL, very clever, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Dance Collective is up tomorrow, and uh, one of their company members, Liz Jones, is going to be, be performing on uh, some trapeze acts and aerial skills. You do not want to miss that tomorrow night. And uh, that just sounds fantastic. I love that stuff. And uh, let's see here. Uh, also, uh, Artslandia, I think, was putting up there that, uh, um, that we're asking folks to make a donation, if you are so willing, uh, to the Play It Forward program, which is uh, uh, my program, is from my foundation. And uh, what the Play It Forward program does is we take in gently used instruments from the community and uh, nothing that needs repair. So we take, you know, violins, cellos, flutes, oboes, drum sets, keyboards, pianos, etc. cetera. And, uh, but they have to be in good condition because we play them forward to children and families who otherwise would not be able to afford it. And also these children are using these instruments every day. They are practicing on them and putting in lots of hours. So we need good instruments that hold up and uh, uh, we have, uh, we've, since we've been doing this program, we have placed thousands and thousands of instruments. And the other thing that we've also been doing is also supplying scholarships for lessons. And, uh, and these are one-on-one -on -one lessons. These aren't group lessons. This is with a, a real teacher and one-on-one. -on -one. Now, since the COVID thing happened, we, we've transitioned our program into doing it all online right now. And so uh, we need instruments, but we also... Uh, we need funds to pay the teachers, and one of the cool things that we're doing is that we're giving a lot of $50,000, either one works. Um, let's see, before I do like a long uh, meditation, let me look at my list of songs here I was thinking of doing today, and I uh, wanted to do something kind of fun. Uh, <clears throat> one of the things that I, I've, I've done at many of my concerts is is uh, I have a segment called Give Me Five, Give Me Five Notes. And so I'm going to look at the, there is a little bit of a delay. And if five people can just chime in, A, B, C, D, E, F, or G, the, the musical alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, or G, any one of those seven notes. If you want to say B flat, that's fine. And, uh, but just, just, just chime in with one note. And I'll take them in order, and I will create a song in the moment here. So let's see if we got some uh, comments coming up. Oh, here we go. Three G's in a row, okay. <laughs> and F. And another F. One, two, three. I, I could do something with just those. Let's, uh, oh. So we'll do, so we'll do, so we'll do something with G, F, B flat, and C. Here we go. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. Three G's and then two F's.
Okay. Well, hi again. I'm, I'm, uh, oh, broadcast interruptions. Okay. Is your phone to Wi-Fi? And if not, could you connect it to Wi-Fi? Well, let's see here. Yes, my phone is connected to Wi-Fi, so, um, so sorry about the interruption. So I hope you're still, everyone's still hanging in there, and uh, even though we're getting some interruptions. Uh, oh, Ashley says, actually, it seems to be working better now, <laughs> never mind. Okay, great. Um, that's awesome. Okay, so uh, I, I wrote a new song, and so I'm going to do, oh, we got about... Uh, 17 minutes left so um, I was going to do like a 25 minute meditation but we'll do like a 17 minute uh, meditation um, one of the uh, things I was really uh, inspired by uh, this was a couple of weeks ago um, this is from a I think a Catholic uh, monk or priest um, I think from Ireland a father Richard Hendrick and uh, he wrote this beautiful poem, and uh, I set it to music, and uh, the song is called New Intentions for the World, and uh, um, so the music goes for a little while, and then, and then I recite this poem, uh, while the, um, and then the music becomes an underscore. So I thought I would share that with you today at the beginning of this meditation, and then, and then I'll just continue on for about uh, another 10 minutes or so. And then I'll get a chance to, to say uh, goodbye to everybody and, and also remind everybody about tomorrow um, uh, event at uh, 5 p.m. And again, if you're just coming on, welcome to Artslandia's Happy Hour. And I'm Michael Allen Harrison. And uh, this, uh, uh, this, new, this segment here starts with a song called New Intentions for the World. There is fear, there is panic buying, yes, yes there is even death. You can hear the birds, they say that after just a few weeks of quiet, people are singing to each other around them. Very and reflecting, looking at their neighbors in a new way, to what really matters. Yes, but there does not have to be disease of the soul, you square.
A Wall Dance Collective. And again, uh,